This lesson will explain Thevenin's theorem as used in electronics for simplifying any complex circuit. What Thevenin's theorem is used for is to simplify any circuit from the point of view of the load. In other words, from the point of view of the load, what would be the equivalent resistance of the circuit and what's the equivalent voltage? That's what a Thevenin equivalent circuit is. is uh, basically, it's the idea that you can replace any complicated circuit with an equivalent circuit that just is a single voltage source in series with a single resistance, as measured from the output terminals A and B. So to start Thevenizing, the first step is to open the terminals between which you want to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So in other words, remove the load. So here I've drawn the circuit with the load removed and you need to determine the voltage across the two open terminals and determine the resistance between the two terminals. But all the sources need to re be replaced by their only their internal resistances. So if you have actual resistors or components that provide resistance, they can be used. But the voltage source for an ideal voltage source is has no resistance so it's replaced by a short. So what I've shown here is the voltage source removed and uh, just a wire as if there was no voltage source. So we're going to calculate the resistance between points A and B or from point A to point B. To do that I'm going to draw the current path imagining the current starting at point A and getting to point B. So if we start at point A the current flows through resistor 4 until it gets to this node then it will split some of the current going through R2, the rest of the current continuing on through R1 where it comes down and then through R3 joining back up with R2. So that shows that R2 is in parallel with R1 and R3. R1 is in series with R3. Then the current would join together again and all move to point B. So from that point of view, resistor 4 is in series with the combination of R2 in parallel with R1 plus R3. So by solving that calculation, uh, we come up with a equivalent resistance or a Thevenin resistance of 2.225 kilo ohms. So that is our Thevenin resistance. And now we need to find a Thevenin voltage between points A and B. Now when you look at this circuit, the voltage between A and B would be the same as the voltage drop across resistor 2 uh, because they're in parallel. With the load resistance out of the circuit, no current flows through resistor 4, so it has a zero volt difference on either side, zero voltage drop. So to calculate that, we need to know what proportion of the total voltage, or 15 volts, is dropped on resistor 2. To do that calculation, we need to know how much of the resistance resistor 2 is compared to the total resistance. So we take resistor 2 divided by the total resistance and then times that by the voltage source. And the voltage drop from A to B or across the output terminals would be the same as the voltage drop across resistor 2 because they're in parallel. So what we really need to do is calculate how much of that voltage, the total 15 volts, is dropped on resistor 2. If we do that, we also know that that's the same voltage that's on the output terminals. So to calculate that, we need to know what proportion of the total voltage is dropped on resistor 2. That's resistor 2 divided by the total resistance times the voltage source. Or in other words, resistor 2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3, since they're all in series, that would give us the total resistance and then take that proportion, that proportional resistance, and times it by the voltage source, or 15 volts, would be 4700 ohms divided by 7500 ohms times the 15 volts, or 9.4 volts, which would be the Thevenin equivalent resistance. So our Thevenized, or Thevenin equivalent circuit is a 9.4 volt source in series with a 2.225 K ohm resistance between the output terminals A and B. So that means if we were to connect any load resistor there, any load, it would see that voltage and that resistance the same as it would from the original circuit. 
Now, thevenizing can be a useful tool for, for example, any complicated circuit. You can replace with a thevenized equivalent circuit or a thevenin equivalent circuit, and it's much to simplify calculations. Measurements can be made on a on a circuit, and uh, simplified thevenin equivalent can be used. Uh, say if you needed to change uh, loads, maybe for example different uh, motors need to be uh, substituted at uh, different output terminals or a different uh, fan or something that was a different load, you would know the equivalent voltage and resistance at those points. That's how to thevenize a circuit. Uh, very important process, it's done all the time in electronics.